Hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here with Freedom Mowers. And today it is cold. I just got out here to the shop. It's about uh, 37 degrees and I don't really have too much uh, in the line of getting the shop warm. I've got this little heater here I was just testing out and uh, it's going to take a while to warm up. But today on the bench we have the biggest, the baddest, I guess it's just a standard homeowner blower. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got this uh, Poulon Pro, 210 miles per hour. Believe it when I see it. Uh, these aren't bad little units. I mean, they're homeowner models. I got this one, you know, I, I wanna say I remember talking to the guy. I think I got like a mower a while back and he threw in this blower and it was he said he had run it in the spring once and it ran for him um, and then he said he put it away for a little bit and took the machine back out I'm assuming like a month or two and he couldn't get it to get going and I think at the time he was switching over to uh, electric equipment so he was just ready to get rid of it so we are gonna take a dive into this thing today and see if we can figure out what's going on and uh, hopefully get it going. I don't have a carb kit or anything for this so if we do anything it'll probably be trying to clean the carb and see what we can do with it. But let's jump right in. Alright, well I put a little bit of my own fuel in there. The tank was was dry originally. The only thing I did notice, which I don't think, maybe you guys can see, the gas lines don't look too bad in here, but the um, the filter is disconnected, so I'm going to have to dig around in there, and uh, that could be a culprit as to maybe it sucked up a little something from the tank, and maybe there's a little dirt in the carb on here. So uh, let's just go ahead and see if it'll start. level here all right can you guys see that I'm sure I'll end up standing right in the way all right so start let's see what the procedure says on here Set the cruise control. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. This is kind of a cool little model on here. It's got the uh, the little cruise control, so that way you don't have to sit there and hold the trigger the whole time. I, I like these. They're kind of nice to uh, so you're not always having to hold the handle down. Um, all right, so yep, set to idle. Prime it six times. Set to start. Pull the rope five times. So let's prime it. One, two, three. It's priming. Four, five, six. Let's we'll just do two for extra measuring. Set to start. Pull the rope 4,700 times. I think that it was just running off from the prime that I put in there. It's not necessarily pulling from the tank. Yeah. I 
believe that uh, just priming this up, it is, uh, it's getting fuel into it just enough to start and run for a few seconds, but it's not actually uh, pulling fuel through. So, well, we know it's got spark and that it runs and it sounds good. Uh, let's get this thing up on the bench and see if we can't take this carburetor off. All right, let's try and get you guys posi positioned so you can see. It is freezing out here. I took the uh, the blower tube off so that I can rotate this thing around a little bit. And I think that we just got a you know, perfect no air cleaner. Even better. No air cleaner, no fuel filter on it. That's what makes them run, right guys? Let's see here, where did I just, I literally just had my Allen wrenches. So on here, it looks like we just got two Allen heads to take this cover off. magnetic tray here try not to lose a bunch of stuff in the process so there's our cover and then, looks like all we've got on this one is just the two lines, two fuel lines. And then we will remember that our linkage goes into this top hole here. So I'll go ahead and get those lines off. I was messing around here in the shop yesterday and I moved everything off the cart. Okay, so the right side, the right hand side one coming out the tank goes to the front here. Oh yeah, pressurized. Perfect. I got gas all over the new workbench. All right. That goes to the back. Then it looks like there's just yeah, just a little tiny bend on the end of that arm. And we are free with the carburetor. Let's get this over to the other bench and we'll take this apart. <clears throat> All right, so let's get right into this thing. I am gonna go ahead and start with the primer bulb side. Should just have these four Phillips on this thing. Or I guess they are technically the JIS bits. Since they have the little dot on the top. Sorry guys, my hands are freezing. I'm just trying to get this thing taken apart real quick. I know my hand's in the way. I'm sliding all over the desk here. show you guys something here look at the crud in there let me get my knife real quick I'll just show you a little would you just would you just look at it 
Oh yeah. I don't even know how this thing was even. I don't even know how this thing even was able to start. Like I said, I guess it's just off the the prime there, but it goes to show you what a uh, fuel filter will help you with. That's terrible. That's just straight straight cake in there, sand. All right. So we got that side off. We'll set that stuff aside. Take a look at this little diaphragm here. That doesn't look too bad. The uh the flappers are not um like bent or anything. So I'll probably just try to clean through those ports a little bit. I'm going to try not to get too, uh, too into this thing because I don't have a rebuild kit. And normally on something like this, I would recommend just getting an aftermarket carburetor for it. But you know what? I wanted to give it a try today. And, uh, well, we got to see what it looked like on the inside there without a um, without the fuel filter installed so we got that it's our pump diaphragm which is still still feels pretty soft I don't want to tear this so I'm going to be very careful in trying to get this off. Alright. Looks like it's going to go. There we go. Let's see how this feels. I mean, it's not... It's not brand new tell you that but might try to roll with it it's it's a little stiff and there is a little bit of where I put my knife it's like a little bit of some what is that kind in there I have no idea what that is. Something caught in there. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm not going to bore you guys forever with uh, taking this thing apart. We're just going to get it cleaned up. Uh, I'm just going to basically shoot through the ports on this, clean this out. Uh, I'll hit it with the air blower. We'll try to get it cleaned up as best as possible, and then I will just reassemble. So. Let me get to squirting some carb spray here. <clears throat> All right, well, I got everything cleaned and blown out. Um, I didn't record it, but uh, when I had the diaphragm out and I was cleaning out the ports, after I shut that off, uh, I did get underneath of the needle and seat in here and clean it as well. So I think it's in best of shape as we can get with what I've got to work with here today and we'll get it back on the machine and see if we can get it to fire up possibly all right actually before we get the carburetor on there I think I want to try to we'll just go ahead and get that fuel filter out of there if I can Probably should have done that before I put um, fuel in there. All right, we're back over the bench, and wanted to spare you guys watching me fish this out of here. But got the fuel filter on, so we'll go ahead and drop that back in the tank. Filter actually looked like it was in good shape. It had just 
come off the end of the line and these lines are still pretty soft so all right let's get the gas cap back on there the little check valve in the cap looks good and we were at the farthest or the top pin the right side one went in the front and this one left side went on the back to there all right I think we are pretty good I'll just go ahead and get the uh, screws back in the air box and we'll give this a shot I just save you guys a minute here watching me put the air box back together but I'll just get this lined up and uh, the two screws and we'll check it out all right guys well I got that box back on there unfortunately I don't have a filter for this uh, if I need to I'll try to find a um, maybe an older foam filter that I can cut out to shape and fit in here but uh, yeah so we just got the uh, fuel filter back on here and just a very quick and dirty carb clean on this and uh, we'll give it a shot so I did test to make sure at least the primer bulb was working <coughs> So start five, six pumps. That should be it. for just a minute and then uh, we'll just check to make sure that uh, the high and low adjustments are going to work for it. sounds pretty pretty darn good to me uh, I will take this outside and um, let it warm up for another minute and we'll make some uh, full throttle pulls with this thing and make sure that the high idle is set right and um, yeah I guess that's gonna be it so let me get this out there and uh, we'll test it out real quick make sure everything sounds good if I need to make any adjustments I will and if not then we've got us a uh, good running little Poulon Pro 200,000 mile an hour blower all right well I don't have that much for leaves out here because we had like 30 mile an hour winds yesterday and it blew everything pretty much out of the yard but I've got some leaves around this ditch line over here so let's give it a shot <sighs> hey I use the cruise control on this thing like it's running a little little off on the high side make it just like an eighth of a turn on the high side just to lean it a hair. <laughs> 
All right. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it. We got us a sweet little blower. I was uh, honestly not quite expecting it to uh, to run so well, especially with uh, the diaphragm that was still in there. It was a little crunchy, but uh, it wasn't terrible. It still had some, some flexibility to it. And uh, you guys saw the amount of dirt that was in there. So at least now it's got the fuel filter in there so it shouldn't be sucking up all that crap and uh, it's a nice little blower the uh, good unit for somebody at their house and um, appreciate you guys checking it out so I got tons of fun stuff coming up so you guys stay tuned people that are new to the channel if you do like this kind of content make sure to hit that thumbs up and uh, think about subscribing hit that drop down bell that way you guys get notified anytime I upload a video and uh, once again Thank you guys for checking it out. I'll catch you all in the next video. All right.